There is no distinction. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. We are sometimes impressed by how much influence some people have. As humans, we typically look at such criteria, how influential is someone, how much power or might, how many people they can influence, how many riches they can gather, how healthy someone is. This is what comes to our mind, but that is not the distinction that God makes. He makes no distinction in such a regard, nor in other regards, nor by nation or race or anything. God only looks at our heart, whether we have an obeying heart or not. He will come, he says in Isaiah 66, verses 17 to 18, the Lord says, the end is near for those who purify themselves for pagan worship, who worship other gods other than God, go in procession to sacred gardens, worship other idols, other things, worldly things, who do not put God in the first place, who eat unclean foods, disgusting foods. God knows their thoughts and their deeds. He says, I'm coming together the people of all the nations. And they come together, they will see what my power can do. God will gather all nations, all tribes, all races, all genders. He does not look at the outward things as we humans judge or categorize. God is the ultimate judge. His power can do everything. He can save even a person who seems to be lost, who seems to be lost in sin, in addiction or lost in other regards. Maybe someone who is paralyzed, who is persecuted, who has nothing to say, who has no influence, no power. God can do everything. He has all power. And he does not distinguish by our criteria, neither by race, by nation, nor by anything else, by age. He says, there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. Romans 10, verse 12. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for that generosity. In the light of your holiness, nobody can withstand. Nobody can be good enough, no matter how influential, no matter of which origin. We all fall short of your commands, of your standards, of your holiness. Thank you that you are nevertheless generous, that you are full of grace and mercy. Your power can do everything, even what seems to be impossible in our eyes, even when we are totally unclean, when we have done the wrong thing, we have put other priorities and not given you the honor that you deserve. Thank you for your forgiveness, for your help, for all that you do. You do not make any distinction. You want to, you offer your help to everybody, your forgiveness and your love. Thank you for all that you provide. Your power is almighty. To you be all praise and glory and honor forever. Amen.